Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Inspirational Moments. I am Reverend Glendale Miller from the beautiful islands of the Bahamas. This program is designed to uplift, motivate, and inspire as you make a difference right where you are. I invite you in prayer. Our Father and our God, we are grateful for yet another marvelous day that you have made. We pause at this hour with a grateful heart, seeking your blessings. Bless our efforts, we pray, for the saving of a soul. This we ask in your Son's name. Amen. A pleasant good morning is extended to all of you sharing with us at this hour and as always it is our sincere prayer that this time of sharing together serves as a source of inspiration and encouragement to you. Our meditation for this morning is found in 2 Samuel the 11th chapter and I read verses 1 for your consideration this morning and it came to pass after the year was expired at the time when kings go forth to battle that David sent Joab and his servants with him, and all Israel, and they destroyed the children of Ammon, and besieged Rabbah. But David tarried still at Jerusalem. But David tarried still at Jerusalem. I want to begin a new series on making the best of time, making the best of time. And uh, I speak to you from the subtopic, stop wasting time. At the time kings went to battle, David stayed behind at Jerusalem. At the time other kings were on the battlefield, David was in bed. The brave king of Israel was idle. David had too much time on his hands. At the time he should have been at war with his army. He fell into sin with Bathsheba. He was in the wrong place and doing the wrong things. David lust after another man's wife and was so consumed by his loss that he did not consider the consequences. He impregnated Bathsheba and proceeded to kill her, to kill her husband. King David's idleness resulted in to lust, adultery, and death. In this instance, there is the error that is manifested in the life of David. An error that 
he should have avoided. It's important, my family, that we keep ourselves busy. Spend your time wisely. Spend your spare time being active. Get involved with productive things. He who has a slack hand becomes poor, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. He who gathers in summer is a wise son. He who sleeps in harvest is a son who causes shame. Proverbs 10, 4 through 5. David declares in the 90th Psalm and verse 12, so teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. We all have 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 1,440 minutes and 86,400 seconds. We weren't given this gift of life to just sit around. We are to maximize the moment even in the time of a global lockdown as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Lord, make me to know my end and what is the measure of my days, that I may know how frail I am. Indeed, you have made my days as hands breaths, and my age is as nothing before you. Certainly every man at his best state is but vapor. Psalms 39 verses 4 and 5. Our days on earth are numbered. Only God knows the number of the days of our lives. Only He determines when we are born and how long we live in this world. So we must not waste any moment of it. Time is a precious gift. We must use it wisely we must determine in mind what is worth spending time on and what we should avoid by all means. This gift of time will eventually run out someday. We must focus on what we can do daily and not what we can do. In the fifth chapter of Paul's letter to the church at Ephesus, verse 16, that's Ephesians chapter 5, we find these words redeeming the time because the days are evil. The word redeeming means to buy up, ransom, or rescue from loss. To redeem the time is to make the most of it. It is to be careful in how we live. To redeem the time is to apply wisdom. It is becoming conscious of the fact that 
we may not have another day. To redeem the time is to make the most of every opportunity. It is to live daily in the knowledge and presence of God. We should start the day by committing our day to the Lord and asking him to help us. To redeem the time is to properly, properly prioritize and doing what is really important. It is to live as God would have us. We can redeem the time through careful planning of every second of the day. We can control our schedules so that our time is efficiently spent and we can ultimately reach our goals and fulfill our destinies. When you lose focus, you lose time. So invest your time wisely. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. So shall your poverty come like a prowler and your need like an armed man. Proverbs 24, 33 and 34. Seize the moment. You may not be able to change what happened yesterday, but you can plan today to change your tomorrow. You can do something today that will greatly affect your tomorrow. You can make the most of your time. I suggest this morning, stop wasting time. We must place value on time. For time is valuable. To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under the sun. Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. There's a common saying that time and tide waits for none. This is indeed true. Time waits for no one. It comes and goes. So we should never waste precious time without purpose and meaning. Since the beginning of time, God has determined there would be seasons. Each moment, season, and time is our opportunity and responsibility. Every day is an opportunity for us to live a productive life. Today is an opportunity to redefine our priorities, purpose, and vision. Today is an opportunity to reestablish profitable goals. It is an opportunity to bury the past and move into a new future. There are blessings and opportunities attached to every season we spend on earth. We should value the importance of time. We must start with God. Oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So I have looked for you in the sanctuary. See your power and your glory. 
The first thing we should do when we awake is to thank God. To see each day as a gift. See it as an opportunity God has given you to serve Him. Time spent with God is never wasted. Whenever you spend time in God's presence, it's always refreshing, revealing, reinvigorating. Turn off your phone sometimes, the computer, or anything that distracts. Read his word with more intensity. Seek to be more sensitive to the Holy Spirit and trust him for today and the future. Rejoice in the Lord as the joy of the Lord gives you strength. You'll be able to face any problems you have to deal with. That's the challenge for us this morning. Let's not waste time. David found himself idle at a time when he ought to have been Engage in battle when he ought to have been about his father's business. He wasted time in idleness. And I want to suggest to us this morning that life waits on no man. We must embrace. We must maximize. We must take advantage of the limited time that God has extended to us. Right where you are. Our Father and our God, we thank you this morning. that we will not waste time. We will embrace this precious gift that you have given us called time. We will use this day to bring honor and glory to your name. We would seize these moments as a divine gift that you have extended to us. We give you praise now, our Father, that we seek your assistance and we thank you for what you are about to do. We give you praise, we give you honor, we give you glory. These favors and blessings we ask in your Son's name. Amen. Thank you so much for sharing with us on Inspirational Moments. If you've never made a confession of faith, you don't know him as Lord and Master, I invite you to pray this prayer. Father, I am a sinner. Help me to make proper use of the time that you have given me. I confess that your son Jesus is Lord and Master and I invite him into my life. The Word of God declares that if you confess with the mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart, thou shalt be saved. Salvation has come to your door and we give God praise. for all of you who have accepted him as Lord and Master. If you wish to correspond with Reverend Glenn, his mailing address is gemiller 
hotmail.com or you can reach out to him at 1242-467-8939. May the blessings of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost be yours now and always. We'll talk again tomorrow. Have a good, good morning. God bless you.